So these Halo Infinite Mega Bloks leaks we saw has been going on for a while now, and one of these leaks images has fans speculating that Agent Locke might be dead in Halo Infinite. They basically think 343 accidentally added a spoiler. If we look at this image here carefully at this Brute Chieftain, it seems that he has Agent Locke's helmet on his shoulder. And we know brutes are absolutely brutal, they chop off anyone's you know, head and stick onto their shoulder as the metal or something, which is pretty twisted. So the main question is, is Agent Locke dead in Halo Infinite? Well, Sketch came out and said it on Twitter, and I quote, While we unfortunately had toy leaks earlier this year, products appearing now all are expected and part of the roadmap. We wouldn't intentionally spoil key game details, so don't read too much into anything. Not every collectible is literally tied into the game. So I guess the answer is, Agent Locke is very well much alive in Halo Infinite. You know, a lot of fans did not like Agent Locke. You know, I didn't like him at all. I'm just hoping Agent Locke isn't the protagonist character in Halo Infinite, nor the antagonist. I'm just hoping it's the Master Chief and, you know, and have Age Shocks as the main antagonist, if he is alive, of course. But one thing had me very concerned when I was reading this uh, tweet, when Sketch uh, says something, not every collectible is literally tied into the game. I think what he means here is that of all the action figure, uh, figures leaks we saw, you know, might not exist in game. So like, here's this leak, leak image we saw a while back. We saw this UNNC boat, right? So you're telling me we might not even see this in game? Will this be a thing? I'll be very disappointed. Oh, and what about this badass vehicle we saw here? This won't be in game either? Is this basically another false marketing now, 343? I'm just hoping I'm totally wrong. Maybe Sketch is playing around with this, I don't know, I probably misunderstood what he said. You know, we might end up seeing all of this in game, hopefully, uh, you know, and we might end up seeing Agent Locke, you know, being dead in Halo Infinite at the start of the game. A brute could likely, you know, brutally murder him and chop off his head and put on his shoulder or something, we don't know. Uh, but, but he could die in a different way, a brute may not kill him, uh, it could be Cortana, you know, it could be an elite, uh, you know, that kills Locke, we don't know, uh, or we may not even see how, how Agent Locke got killed. Uh, the event, you know, could take place straight after Halo 5. Uh, you know, it does take place, uh, Infinite does take place two years later after Halo 5, so a lot can happen. I'm really honestly praying that all the leaks we saw do end up making it into the game. Maybe not at launch, but hopefully 2 3 you know, will make an update at some point. So if we look at this image again, the brute we see here that has Agent Locke's head on his shoulder, he has a name, and his name is Hyperus. So I'm guessing he could be the main enemy that Master Chief uh, with face against. He could be the brute that was speaking over the radio, the Halo Infinite teaser we saw. Uh, a lot of people say it's Atriox. I'm not too entirely sure, you know, it might be, I don't know. We have to wait and see. Uh, we should get a lot of information for Halo Infinite this month, somewhere around July 23rd. Anyways, I think I'm going to stop the video here now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to follow us on Twitch. We are going to be streaming Halo on the, you know, on Twitch every day. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of this video. Do you guys think Agent Locke is dead or not? Or And all the leaks we saw, like, do you think uh, they're going to be making it into the game? Uh, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you, Spartans, in the next video. Bye.